Mm -mm. So how's your day going, bitch? Oh my god, thank you. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, well, you know, I was having a glorious day. Fabulous day. Like, gorgeous day. You know, the sun, it was warm, it was gorgeous, it was delightful. But then I remembered it was heart medication day because of this show called Euphoria. Let me tell you something, this show is my vibes, my heart, my blood pressure. It's with too much of my life. So, um, yeah. But honey, just like bottoming for Boomer Banks, you have to power through and take it like a man. If you've never seen Boomer, Google it. You'll be very happy. Unless you're a straight guy, then I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't, I don't, I can't relate. Hello, my anal queens. It is I, the one who, ever since starting watching this show, I've had to start using Preparation H. Um, only because every time I finish watching one of these episodes, it just manages to fuck me in the ass with no condom, no lube. It's just raw. So, um, my ass hurts. And I have had enough. <laughs> who am I kidding, Mitch? I'm so gonna be watching. Bitch, I'm here editing, and I just realized that I forgot to do my intro. No, 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 I, I'm sorry, but I, f I feel naked. My videos, for me, feels incomplete without my intro. So, you know I gotta give it to y'all straight, bitch. I know I'm in my robe, I'm feeling my luxury self, bitch. It's a little dirty, I have to clean it, but that's none of my No, don't worry about it, bitch, don't worry about it. Okay, you ready? Zan! <laughs> Ooh, ooh, that felt good, bitch. Okay, okay, back to the video, bitch. Enjoy. Anyways, bitch, for today's video, Honey Bunch, we're gonna be watching the seventh episode. The seventh episode of Euphoria, bitch. Uh, let me tell you something. <laughs> this, which is the penultimate episode before the season, you know, before the season ends. So basically, um, if I'm thinking correctly, this episode should be setting up the final episode, you know, of the season. There are a lot of things that I wish, if I were the writer, if I were the creator, that I wish would happen, you know? Like, one of my dreams. Oh, girl, I get so excited. Wait, um, I would have an Emma Roberts moment in Scream 4. Anybody see Scream 4? I love Scream 4, but that's just me. But Scream 4, fat Fabulous film. You know at the end where Emma Roberts is, re spoiler alert, Emma Roberts is the killer. It's revealed that she's the one and she's been working with um, the other guy with the long hair and he was handsome too. She ended up shooting Nico to my husband or wife, you know, he's non-binary, you know. She ends up shooting Nico in the nuts. She blows his dick off. You know, I've had the similar experience, but you know, not in that way. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is she shot his dick off. Let me say something. I only wish that in the final shot of the season finale, it would be Maddie, it would be Rue, and it would be Jules. Charlie's Angels bitch and they would just have guns a pink one a blue one and a purple one pop, pop, pop. Ooh, that gave me hiccups bitch and it would just end them leaving his ass to bleed to death and all of the three of them walking off to the sunset Emmys Oscars Tony's everything bitch that would be my dream then again this isn't a Ryan Murphy production so but anyways bitch let me not ramble on you know I talk too much but before we do girl if you want to see more of me if you want to see more reactions commentaries me talking you shit then girl why don't you just like subscribe and ring that bell bitch I mean come on it'll help ease the lonely nights don't cry for me Argentina just subscribe Oh, so we're following Gia today? Cassie's dad was really handsome. Mm -hmm. The kind of handsome that made people treat him differently. Mm, jump on that dick right his ass to sleep, honey. Her mom used to get really upset at him for flirting. She was a natural. You're an angel. I feel like a big baby. Bitch, why is she dressed like a Mormon fuck? Yeah. Perfect. Let the titties out. If I had titties like that, bitch, I'd be walking around with my titties out. You can't arrest me in New York City for that. And it wasn't just her body that changed. Look at you all grown up. Come on, give me a hug. You really filled out. Sassy cats. Mmm, <laughs> Herbert the pervert. And her dad struggled to keep a steady income. Oh my god. Oh, all right, I can see him. Mm -mm -mm. And this is why I advocate for condom usage or just swallow. I don't I'm I'm just I'm just trying to help Your father had some serious jealousy issues. I just think he didn't want the responsibility of being a father again condoms But Cassie had heard differently my mom said your mom cheated on your dad and that's why he left Oh, yeah, well, I heard your mom was in the janitor. Bitch. But then she realized that her dad wasn't perfect and her mom wasn't either, and maybe they just weren't right for each other. Mm -hmm. That's life. We used to visit them on weekends. Eventually, it became once every couple of weeks. Papa! Mm -hmm. 
Oh Lord, where's my fan, bitch? <gasps> Almost in the ICU for 23 days. Oh my God. I'm afraid he'd never walk again. Mm. Jesus. He was prescribed fentanyl for pain, promethazine to offset the nausea, liquid lorazepam to sleep, and Nimitrex injections for migraines. That's it? A week after her 15th birthday, she got a text from a random number at about one in the morning. Oh Lord. Huh? No, bitch. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, there's never a day goes by. Don't think about you. Oh, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Don't cry, baby. I'm okay. I'm fine. Yeah, and James Charles has a promising singing career. He said he needed a few things and made her promise that she wouldn't tell a soul. Oh, hell no. You gonna rob your children's house? Girl, you know what? Drugs are the devil. You know, this episode is hitting a little bit too close to home. Where's my fan, bitch? <sighs> Sweet Jesus. She also never saw her dad again. Oh my God. She fell in love with every guy she ever dated. Yes. And then she moved out of town, changed her name. Now you may know her as Johnny Weir. And every guy she ever dated asked for the same things. Mm, 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 mm. You suck in my dick? Oh my god. I don't do this. And she almost always said yes, even though it didn't always make her feel good. Oh my god. Can you blame her? I mean, her father was gone, her mother was drunk up. She wants to feel like, please. She wants to please. She wants to please because she wants, she has that need. And then at the beginning of the year, she met McKay and fell in love with him. That's why you don't f nobody from your school, bitch. Distance. Oh my god. Sweet Jesus Christ. The devil. <sighs> oh, Lord have mercy. People are always telling me about great TV shows, but the truth is, I don't want good TV. That's why I love reality TV. It's funny, it's dramatic, and I can focus on it. I know, girl. The simple life. I don't what know. What is Walmart? It's like they sell wall stuff. My childhood. And realize I have watched 22 straight hours of Love Island over a two day period. The only show I can ever do that with is probably The Golden Girls. I have done that, but don't fucking judge me, bitch. I feel different. <laughs> bitch. Because of Daniel? No, not because of Daniel, Lexi. Okay, well, it's all you ever fucking talk about. It's not Ooh. true. I asked you how I look, not about Daniel. You look beautiful, Cassie. You look fucking amazing. It's literally all anyone's ever told you your entire life. Listen to yourself. It's fucking exhausting. Honey, Miss Lexi has the keys to the library, hun. She gets to read today, bitch. And by the way, where's Lexi's episode? We got McKay. No, he's fine. He's an. We'll talk about him. But where's Lexi's episode? Season two? the absolute worst part of depression. You're unable to stop yourself from getting worse. But I wasn't the only one feeling down. Jules. I'm sick. After Halloween, Jules didn't go to school for a full week. Bitch, is anybody going to school? The, what? This school is empty, correct? I, I could tell something bad had happened and that it had something to do with Nate. Oh my God. I'm praying for you, bitch. And I was putting together the pieces of the puzzle. All right, Nancy Drew. All right, it starts getting hutch up in this bitch. We all owe Nate Jacobs a heartfelt apology. I'll be back at East High. <laughs> Keep looking, you mook. And anyway, excuse me, first of all, let me pause this right here. Did the f and what's that? Did she just say we owe Nate Jacobs an apology? Bitch, you know who owes us an apology? Nate's parents. Again, condom usage. Again, the show's f***ing my vibes. <laughs> oh, bitch. Jules is in love with Nate. Well, yeah. The night at the carnival, she said she wanted to meet up with this guy she met online. They've been texting for weeks. They were sexting. Like nudes? No, apple pie recipes. But do you know what his name was? Tyler. <gasps> oh, bitch. Oh, he's the devil. Honey, Agatha Christie came to testify here, huh? Ooh, bitch, Cat is giving me like if Judy Garland wasn't to BDSM, bitch. I need your advice on like two things. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a coven reunion and shit. The night of Daniel's Halloween party, something happened. Oh. Oh. 
He, I mean, I can't even look at him, honestly. I mean, I still f him, but I can't even look at him. We dated? Yeah, in sixth grade. Yes. Wait, pause. Somebody did spoil this for me, bitch. Up in the comments, that you know who you are. Hateful. Anyway, somebody did spoil this for me, that he was the, the he was the cutie little one. You know, he didn't care that she was a little bit, you know, thick. That's wild. How you go from that little cute little kid, you know, holding hands to Ted Bundy? I'm sorry, that's an insult to Ted Bundy. I just I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's too much. It's too much. Fix it, Jesus. I literally have no recollection of that. Mm. You know what I'll do to Daniel? <laughs> That's what I want to do to Daniel. I mean, I still f him, but you know. You cannot tell McKay. But it's not like I cheated. cheated. See, it's not like you guys are going to be together forever. Cat, what the f is your problem? This whole new personality is seriously unlikable. Oh. Fine, because I won't sit and listen to you about your psychotic abusive boyfriend who you've literally broken up with a thousand times it was literally the lowest point in my life so yeah all you talk about is yourself your clothes your boyfriends whatever superficial shit you think is so fucking important oh she's an aries i miss the old cat man wasn't a fucking oh oh no yeah there would have been a fight yeah me oh yeah i would have jumped across that table bitch yeah yeah I'm sorry, natural reaction girl out here and jump on this table on you. You know what? I'm conflicted. Let's dissect this bitch for a second. You know, cat, Patty LaBelle, new attitude, love it. There is a coldness to it, but it's a protection for her, you know, with cat and being the bitch she is right now. Part of me loves it, and part of me is like, ooh, girl, hold on to a little bit of the sweetness that you because she's a very sweet girl. She's not a complete bitch. She's exploring her sexuality because all her entire life she's felt like the ugly fat girl, me. And now she's finally found this, mm, this new scent, honey, and the scent is called sex. So I do understand that getting to her head a little bit and being like, you know what? these bitches but also to maddie's point you know um mm, you know I, I, maddie is not evil she can be a little blind stubborn annoying a pushover but she is a friend allegedly but all this time cat has been michelle well maddie's been the beyonce of the show and now that miss cat is feeling her oats is like oh bitch excuse me maddie step back and now it's like oh we have a problem with you now that's where i feel like mm, mm. you can say about what you want about the attitude that's one thing but if you want me to play backup bitch no ma'am your name is not diana and your last name is miss ross we need to be right chill. Sure. Cause it is true. I mean, like, I wouldn't take that shit. I'm sorry, but I'm not playing backup to your ass. Maddie or Cassie or whoever the f Well, I mean, honestly, it's like Lexi, Kat, and then everybody else is in front. But I, I understand how she would be upset with Kat. That was a little bit bitchy. Like, she shouldn't have said that to her face. Yeah, I know. I know, girl. No, I know. I would have started swinging, but, you know. What would you do? I don't know. I've never really been in the situation where two guys have been interested in me. How about two girls? But I've also never been in the situation where I've been interested in two guys. How about two girls? This is too stressful. She's too young for this We all make mistakes in life. <laughs> and if anybody knows about mistakes... <laughs> I am not perfect. Hmm. I mean, you look good, but... Perfect, you are not. Oh, just, oh my god. Ooh, sweet Jesus, oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, sorry. I ain't got Apple Care on this laptop, bitch, so I can't be swinging like that. Oh, I used to love honey nuts. Oh, I could eat a whole box sitting down in my bed watching the Golden Girls. Oh my god, the good old days. Who the f is you? My mom's new boyfriend. Oh lord. Oh, that's, she has a type, honey. Your mom tells me that you have a new uh, best friend. So, your teeth tell me that you need Invisalign. The f is your problem, bitch? We ain't never met. Why don't you go f yourself? Okay. <laughs> These bitches came to read today, bitch. If by the flu you mean the disease known as Nate, then yeah, you got the flu. This is the case together while everybody else around him. Right now, I wish I was that grandma naked there right chum. Yes, Fez, rub that sponge all over me. Okay, that's kind of sick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not, but I'm sorry. I know what happened. I know why it happened. And I know what the f I'm going to do about it. What you going to do, girl? Do you still have that gun? Oh, hell. Wait a minute. Continue. I got a couple guns. Why do you have so many guns? My grandma. What's your grandma blood? You could use one to scare Nate Jacobs. Oh. Ooh, that must be the dumbest shit you said off 
Indeed. Yeah. You could like, you could flash it. No, ma'am. Let me tell you something right now. Nate Jacobs was like Michael Myers, like Jason Voorhees. He, let me tell you something. You gotta shoot his ass in the head. You gotta shoot his ass in the heart, in the nuts. You gotta strangle him. You gotta freeze him, and then you gotta get a hammer and smash his ass until you see the, you know, little pieces in the floor. That's how you're gonna get rid of Nate Jacobs, honey. You can't get rid of evil that easily, bitch. Mm mm. The devil don't die that easily. Y'all read the Bible? I took communion class. Yeah. No. He fucked with me. He fucked with Jules, and I want. Revenge. And don't forget Tyler. Poor thing rotting in prison. Mouse is who? The guy with the. Oh my god. Okay, wait a minute. Oh my god. Be quiet for five fing minutes, Rue. I'm not fing playing with you. Yes, sir. Rue, Rue, please sit down next to me. Naked grandma! Naked, huh? We don't need. Please tell me that this is not, a, it's not gonna be a recap from last time. It... What the f Oh, I'm so lonely. Oh, this bitch has gone crazy, honey. Really? What is this, good burger? I'm trying to keep it low key over here, man. I'm trying not to lose my f***ing mind in watching this show. Step your sh up. Man, you gonna have to step your pussy up, honey. <laughs> oh. So you find yourself trying to remember the things that made you happy, but slowly. Your brain begins to erase every memory that ever brought you joy. God, this episode is more depressing than stressful. You know, like most past episodes have been way, way too stressful. This is just sad. Not that the other episodes have been a Netflix comedy special, but I'm just saying that this is really sad. Well, are you friends or are you special kind of friends? Scissor sisters. <laughs> Her. Oh. No. no room for heteronormativity in oh my here. God. <laughs> Not exactly like in the best place. Why, what's going on? Nate. Oh, bitch, we ain't got no elevators? Oh, no, I don't walk upstairs, bitch. I'm sorry. I don't do that. Hey, Anna. Someone I want you to meet. Girl, this looks like a Benetton ad, honey. You got the entire BLT community in one room. If I can conquer men, then I can conquer femininity. Why do you need a guy to make you feel more feminine? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Iyala. Fix my life. I'm pregnant. Ooh. This is awkward, bitch. You for real? Like you 100% pregnant? No, I'm 89% pregnant. And he's gagged. He's cracked. You're not really thinking about having this kid, are you? <gasps> oh shit. What if this is what I'm supposed to do with my life? What birth and babies? Bitch, this ain't 1920. My coach is gonna kill me. My parents are gonna kill me. <laughs> Thank God I'm not straight. I'm not even ready to be a dad. Baby, McKay's like, girl, make like Kaylin Jenner's dick and get rid of it. 300 for 30 minutes. You should have asked for more. Bitch, who is you, Jigsaw? Oh, hell no. I need to see face and body, bitch. Uh-uh. Who is hiding behind the black? Yo, cat is brave, bitch. I would have been like, you know what, keep your 300. But I'm keeping the wishlist Amazon thing. Yeah. Insane. Bitch, am I the only one that's worried for this bitch? Here we go. I don't know what's been going on with you, Rue, and Jules and sh A lot. All I'm saying is leave her and her friends alone. I'm gonna smack that sm- Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, bitch. You're like half a retard. You dropped out of school at 20. Oh, no, this asshole. And you're like Tony Montana, what's the plan? Well, you ain't got no problem buying drugs from him, honey. So why you talking? Oh, hell no. You keep we're ruining her friends, and I'ma kill you. And that's a fact. Pop, pop, honey. You know, sometimes I wish Maddie and Nate would have gone dressed as Bonnie and Clyde, because hopefully it would have ended the same way with these two. Because Maddie is just as guilty, because she allowed all this Tyler nonsense to happen, and she's not doing anything. She's like, oh, I love him. Go f yourself, both of y'all. And I'm talking to my zaddy like that? Oh hell no, Miss Thing. You got me twisted, bitch. Ooh, girl, and just like that, it's 1985, honey. Ooh, and this is just my nightmare. Honey, the last time I went to a place like this, I ended up in Staten Island with my drawers up in my ankles and five Italian guys standing on top of me. Ooh. Oh my goodness, honey. Meanwhile, Rue is up in here about to bladder's about to pop and this one is about to get something else popped. But that's not my, you know, that's none of my business. What the f Oh no, Miss Thing. No, you ain't a circuit queen. Get out. 
Ooh, I don't know what drug she's taking, but it's time to pump that stomach, bitch. Jules. Oh, and he looks so good, too. That. Damn it. Ooh. I wanna kill you. Get in line. Oh my goodness. Oh. You're a bitch. Oh. And I wish the whole fing world could know. Let it out, girl. Mm. Yes. You know this isn't gonna end well. <laughs> yeah, that whole scene just made me horny. I. Don't. Yeah, I'd like to report a crime. Oh my. Bitch, the only crime that's been committed up in here is in your house. By two people. Three of you kind your mother for spreading her legs to this... Oh my god. God damn it! Uh, Grandma, where's my gun? Can you pass it to me, please? I'm about to drive by. <laughs> if Fez is taken away... Y'all remember that scene I'm waiting to exhale with Angela Bassett walking away from the burning car? That's gonna be me, just that Nate is gonna be in the car. Girl, Miss Jules, the fact that she was hallucinating and the hallucination involved Nate and she was kind of doing some sort of half killing, half fing him, it tells me that she's not quite over him. But that's just my that's just my interpretation. I don't know. I'm maybe you have a different I don't know. <sighs> um, what do I have to say about this episode? Um, well, here's what I'll say. I'll say this episode was sponsored by Prozac. Because, um, this episode was way too depressing. I mean, oh my god. Between Rue, the depression state that she's in, you have a, 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 Cassie. Oh my god, and Kat with, uh, a, a Jigsaw over here. And then you have Lexi just being ignored. Oh, what's, what's his name? I try to forget him. Nate, you know, calling the police. And now Fez is on the run with his little kid. If this is the setup for the season finale, this roller coaster gonna end up just like Final Destination 3, bitch. Off the rails. I don't, I have no words. I honestly have no words. I don't, I honestly don't know because I, in my heart, I just want there to be justice for Tyler, Rue, everybody involved in this mess. Honestly. Anyways, bitch, um. This episode was fabulous. I mean, this episode took me. It was a roller coaster, a deranged roller coaster. I'm telling you, the Final Destination 3 roller coaster, but it was a roller coaster nonetheless. It was too much. It was lows, 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 highs, highs, highs. And by highs, I mean jewels in the club. But it's time for me to go because I need a cold shower because I feel dirty. Anyways, bitch, you know. You know, I'll see you next time, girl, but you know. You gotta keep it fat. Keep it tight. And I'll see you on the next time, darlings. Oh, bye.